I thrifted this top more than a year ago and I decided to spice it up by making it a ruched top with lettuce hem. I first marked the length that I wanted the top to have and cut off the excess fabric. I sewed a zigzag stitch on both sleeves and at the bottom and I am pulling the fabric as I go. how the hem would look like but it will always depend on how you stretch your fabric. I then measured the length of the front part of the top and transferred it onto the scrap fabric with a 2 inch width and then cut it. I pinned the fabric on to the wrong side of the shirt and attached it by using a zigzag stitch on both edges and a straight stitch in the middle. From the leftover piece of the top, I cut a long strip of fabric, folded it in half, and sewed along the edge with the right sides together to make a tube. Then get a safety pin and attach it on one of the ends and put the safety pin through the tube to make it inside out. After that, thread the tube through the channels that we have sewn earlier. You will see the finished top when worn at the end of the video. I thrifted this denim Zara jeans, but since I wanted a more loose fit, I decided to upsize it by adding panels to the sides. Cut the side seams of the jeans and I also cut some other excess fabric because I didn't want my sewing machine to sew on multiple layers of denim and I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Then I grabbed my black pants and measured 1.5 inches from the side seams and marked it with chalk and then cut along the line. And the panel right sides together and sew along the edge of the pants backstitching where you started and ended do the same thing on the back by attaching the panel to the back part right sides together and sewing as well it is better to zigzag stitch the edges of the fabric before sewing them together to prevent them from fraying I trimmed the denim jeans since it was longer compared to the attached panels. So this is the finished top and jeans which I am really proud of. I think they really turned out great. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!